I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to learn techniques to write equation in standard form from the given graph. Here we are given a parabola which opens downwards. It has x intercepts at plus and minus 2 and y intercept is at 4. You need to write the equation of this parabola using standard form. Standard form is y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. So what we can do here is we can start with an equation in vertex form or with intercept form, expand and get equation in standard form. That is a good way to go about. So let us begin by vertex form. So when we write equation in vertex form, we have to identify the vertex. Here it is very clear. We know vertex is at 0 and 4, right? And we need a point to get a value, right? The point here is x-intercept, which is 2, 0, right? So we can use this point to specifically write equation of the given graph. Now in vertex form, we can write equation as y equals to a times x minus x value, which is 0, whole square plus right so that becomes the equation in vertex form to find the value of a we can utilize one of the points we have selected 2 0 so here in this equation we'll select x as 2 and y as 0 to find the value of a so 2 for x and 0 for y so we get 0 equals to a times 2 whole square minus 0 is 0 you know plus 4 now bringing 4 to the left brings it minus 4 equals to 4a or a equals to minus 1. Minus 4 divided by 4. And so we get our equation in standard form. And we can write this equation as y equals to ax square a is minus 1. So minus x square plus 4. Right. So that becomes the equation in standard form. Now let us do the same exercise and this time what we will do is that we will utilize the x-intercepts. We know there are two x-intercepts given to us. One is at plus 2 and the other one is at minus 2. Right? So these two x-intercepts can give us an equation which is y equals to a times x plus 2 times x minus 2. Now x plus 2 is for this 0 which is at minus 2, right? So we can always expand this. Find the value of a using the third point. Now the third point given to us is the vertex 0, 4. So let us put 0 for x and y as 4. So we are utilizing the point of vertex to solve this equation, correct? So we can write 0 for x and 4 for y get 4 equals to a times 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 2. That gives us 4 equals to a times minus 4. Or a equals to 4 divided by minus 4 which is same as minus 1. So we can substitute minus 1 for a and write down the equation. So it is minus, let me write 1, x plus 2 times x minus 2, right? So you can always expand this, get minus of a plus b times a minus b is a square minus b square, right? So when I open this packet, what do I get? I get minus x square plus 4, right? Exactly the same equation, correct? So what we did here is we found two different ways of writing equation in standard form from the given graph. One was utilizing vertex form and the other one was from intercept form. Right? You could actually find the equation directly without getting into those forms in standard form and that was possible by using three points at the same time and then eliminating and substituting for getting the values of 
a, b and c, the three variables. In standard form, there are three variables. To get three variables, we need three equations. To find three equations, we have three points. So that could have solved or helped us to solve this problem and get the equation directly in standard form. But that process is very tedious and therefore it is not recommended to be used. So these are better methods to use, even if you have to write equation in standard form. So my recommendation is, as you can see from here, vertex form is probably the best to utilize in such a scenario. I hope that helps. We'll have many videos in this playlist where we'll try to understand how to write equations of the given graph. So we'll consider many polynomials in this series. I hope that helps. Thank you.